They say AI is the future, but no one tells you the truth about how to actually talk to it. And that's wild because right now you've got tools at your fingertips like ChatGPT, Claude and Gemini. These things are smart, not just in a fun fact generator kind of way, but in a they can help you build a business, design a system, write a launch strategy kind of way. Yet most people treat them like a smarter version of Google. And it shows. Let's break this down into a few powerful ideas that, when you really get them, change how you prompt forever. Intelligence isn't about having the answer. Let's start with a tough pill to swallow. Real intelligence is not about knowing things. It's about how you think about things. We've been trained to believe that the smartest people are the ones who can recall facts the fastest. But when you're navigating something messy, launching a new product, trying to figure out why engagement is down 30% or reworking your client onboarding system, being a trivia machine won't help. Mental agility will. The ability to slow down, zoom out and ask the right questions is what separates average outputs from powerful results. That's the first principle. Prompting isn't about memory, it's about architecture. It's how you structure your thinking, your curiosity, and your intention. And that's where first principles prompting becomes your most underutilized superpower. First principles thinking isn't just a buzzword Elon Musk throws around. It's the mental habit of breaking things down to their essence and then rebuilding from scratch rather than from assumptions. When people ask ChatGPT something like, write me a cold email to get leads, they're skipping the architecture. They're trying to decorate a house that hasn't even been framed. The result? A generic message that sounds like every other one in your inbox. Now compare that with a first principles approach. Before asking AI to write anything, ask yourself, what's the real goal of this outreach? Who is the person on the other end and what are they feeling? What transformation am I offering, not just the deliverable, but the deeper value? What's the tone, rhythm and emotional temperature I want to convey? This kind of prompting creates clarity and clarity is the most underrated competitive advantage in AI. AI doesn't make your thinking better by default. It amplifies whatever thinking you bring to it. So build that foundation with intention. That's the difference between using AI and actually partnering with it. How to build ideas, not just fetch them. If first principles is about deconstructing a challenge, chain of thought is about how we reconstruct it into a solution. And this is huge because real life is messy. You rarely solve problems in one go. You reflect, you course correct, you follow a line of reasoning. That's what chain of thought prompting is. Now, don't confuse this with micromanaging AI. That's not the goal. The point here is stack small prompts that build on each other, just like your brain would. Let's use a real world flavor. Imagine you're working on your website. Instead of saying, make my homepage better, think like this. What's the first impression my homepage gives right now? Based on that, how might a visitor feel curious, confused, excited? What's the one thing I want them to do when they land here? How can we restructure the copy and flow to increase that action? See what's happening. Each step isn't a demand. It's a collaboration, a conversation that gets smarter with every layer. That's chain of thought. And here's the twist. It mirrors the way humans solve hard problems. We don't just know, we build understanding as we go. You're not giving ChatGPT or Claude a checklist. You're scaffolding thought. Each micro prompt sharpens the output. It's not about short or long prompts. It's about clarity over time. Meta prompting. Now let's go one level deeper. The third principle is something very few people talk about, but it's maybe the most powerful shift of all. It's called meta prompting. And no, it's not just some jargon. It's the missing skill that separates casual users from power thinkers. Meta prompting means stepping back and architecting the entire prompting strategy. It's not what's the best prompt, it's what's the structure of this task? What kind of thinking does it require? What's the data or emotional context I need to provide first? This is how you stop treating AI like a vending machine and start treating it like a partner in design, strategy and execution. Let's say you're building a lead magnet or scripting a new client onboarding video. Instead of jumping into, write me a script, you ask, what kind of emotional journey does this piece need to guide the user through? What examples would make this more relatable to this exact audience? How should this be structured top to bottom if I want engagement and clarity? Can you generate a prompt that I can use inside InVideo, Canva or Notion to produce this faster? What's happening here is subtle but game-changing. You're not guessing your way to a prompt, you're designing it together. That's why we often say, prompting is not typing, 
Prompting is structured thought. It's a new discipline. The biggest mistake most people still make. Even now, 99% of people are still using AI like they use Google. They ask, what are 10 business ideas? Write a YouTube script. Give me content ideas. And they're disappointed when the answer feels bland, basic or off target. But here's the truth. AI doesn't reward what you ask. It rewards how you think. If you use ChatGPT, Claude or Gemini like a search bar, you'll get search bar level results. But if you use them as collaborators, as thinking partners, you unlock a different level of output. And it's not about getting the right answer. It's about having the right process. This means framing your intent before prompting, clarifying your outcome instead of guessing, designing workflows instead of one-off requests. This shift, this mental upgrade, is how you start leading with clarity instead of reacting to complexity, prompting as a strategic superpower. Here's what most people still don't realize. Prompting isn't a shortcut. It's a way of thinking, a creative discipline, a language of leverage. If you're a founder, a coach, a strategist, or a solo creator, this is your edge. Because AI isn't replacing deep thinking, it's scaling it. And that means your prompts can become your internal brainstorming partner, your system designer, your emotional copy editor, your customer journey architect. But only if you treat it that way, only if you build context instead of skipping it, only if you co-create instead of commanding, only if you slow down enough to teach it how you think, what you value and why it matters. That's where the magic actually begins. The secret source to powerful AI output. Here's one prompt technique most people still ignore. Layering instructions. One of the most underrated skills in prompting is not how clever your question is, but how well you stack clarity with structure. Say you want a persuasive sales page. Most people just say, write a sales page for a product that helps with sleep. But that's like telling your intern, make something cool. You'll get vague, safe output. Instead, stack your prompt like this. Define the goal. This is a sales page designed to increase conversions for a sleep supplement. Specify tone. Use a calm, authoritative tone that builds trust but avoids hype. Give structure. Start with a bold hook, followed by three short benefit paragraphs, then a CTA. Add constraints. Do not use the words miracle or instant. Don't reference scientific studies unless you name them. Show a model. Write in the tone, style of Eight Sleep's marketing page. This isn't overkill, it's baseline professionalism. Every instruction adds a new layer that brings the AI's writing closer to your voice, your strategy, your goals. You can even stack prompts across interactions. For instance, start with, generate 10 emotional hooks about sleep deprivation. Then follow up with, use hook number four to create a homepage hero section. This chaining gives you sharper, more modular results, just like building out sections with a creative team. Think of it this way. Layering prompts is like giving your AI a GPS and a roadmap. The clearer the route, the fewer detours it takes. A quick scenario to make it real. Let's bring this home with a quick scenario. You're a freelancer designing a proposal for a new client. The old way is to open ChatGPT and say, write me a freelance proposal for branding work. Now you might get something usable, but it's generic. It sounds like a copy paste from the internet. Instead, what if you took 90 seconds to think through it together? What is this client's current pain or confusion around branding? What transformation are they really buying from me? What tone builds trust without sounding overly formal? Now write me a proposal that brings these elements together short, clear, emotionally resonant. Now you're not just sending a proposal, you're telling a story. You're designing a moment of trust. That's prompting done right, and it doesn't take more time, it just takes more intention. Thinking with leverage, not just speed. The game isn't about speed anymore. Everyone can access the same tools. Everyone can write 10 subject lines. Everyone can summarize a blog post. But the people who rise, the ones who start automating high-value thinking, building scalable systems, and creating outputs that feel human and smart and strategic, those are the ones who master how to prompt. Because when you think in prompts, you don't just save time. You expand your creative surface area. You solve better. You lead better. So whether you're running a team, launching a product, building a personal brand, or just trying to navigate this weird new AI economy start treating prompting like the core discipline it is, 
Are you thinking like a leader or typing like a user? If you've ever felt like AI wasn't working for you, maybe the real question isn't, what tool should I use? Maybe it's, how am I thinking before I prompt? Because here's the truth most people miss. Your prompt is not just a request, it's a reflection of your clarity. So the next time you open up ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, or any other LLM pause, ask yourself, what am I really trying to achieve here? What would I say if I had a world-class strategist sitting next to me, then prompt from that place? Because when you learn how to think in layers, when you build with intention, when you treat AI like a true collaborator, you don't just adapt to the shift, you lead it. And the world is starting to divide in two, those who use AI and those who build with it. Which one are you going to be? If this resonated with you, drop a comment below, share it with someone who still thinks prompting is typing, 